So I feel like recently there's been a lot of stuff being thrown around by people, a lot of opinions on Escape from Tarkov is in the worst state it's ever been, it's in the best state it's ever been, and a lot of people, at least people that come by my channels, just want to know how to have fun playing the game. So that's what we're talking about today, how to have fun playing Escape from Tarkov, and if we get through the first few tips and you're still not convinced and you just don't feel like you're having fun playing the game, the last tip is a doozy and it's probably for you. My name is Jesse Kazam and welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. I stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch and all my links will be down below. I'd love to have you stop by and say hey. And engaging with this video in any way helps me out a ton. If you like it, drop a like, drop a comment down below. Even if you hate the video, drop that and a comment down below. That actually helps me more than you think. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first tip here is learn to love dying. Now, of course, you're never going to actually enjoy dying in Escape from Tarkov. And if you've been playing Tarkov for any meaningful amount of time, you kind of know what I mean. Uh, death is just a part of the game. Uh, the, the deaths being so punishing and brutal is what make surviving a raid that much more impactful, especially when you're taking somebody else's loot after somebody's taking your loot all day. But it's a part of the game. A lot of my content, a lot of my channels are centered around when I die, figuring out what I could have done better, uh, what happened in that situation, why I died, and that helps me become a better player. Um, but it's just a part of the game. You know, I tell people all the time that my journey has gone from my first wipe, a 7% survival rate, to now a content creator in Escape from Tarkov, an over 50% survival rate. It just takes time, and you really can, in a way, learn to love the journey. I tell people a lot that you can use the fact that the game is in beta to your advantage, actually, because you know that no matter how much you mess up your account, no matter how low your ruble count gets or anything like that, the game is going to wipe. And then you get to use everything you learned from this wipe and this experience and pour it into your next one and be better. So keeping that perspective and learning to um, enjoy the process of getting better at this game actually does make this whole thing easier and allows you to have a little bit more fun. The second tip is play with friends. Uh, so we actually talk about this all the time. If you play with friends a lot and you feel like you're still not learning the game and not having fun and just confused, playing solo could probably uh, be really good for you. But in my experience and in my opinion, playing with friends uh, of any amount, my personal favorite is duos, but even threes or fours, it helps uh, make the experience a little bit more fun. You can meme around a little bit. Those deaths don't feel as brutal because maybe your buddy can either grab your stuff or drop it for insurance or something like that. And we know that the game is engineered to be played with friends. It's, it's going to be a squad focused game moving forward. So in my experience, playing with friends can cut the tension, uh, even just the tension of a raid. I find when I'm playing solo, just from the minute I spawn into the raid, you know, one mistake is so punishing and it feels like you can just get super hyper focused and super try hard when you're playing solo. When you're playing with friends, it can just cut the tension a little bit. So like we said, everybody's experience is different. And if you play with friends a lot and struggle, playing solo could be the best bet for you. But um, playing with friends can definitely help you enjoy the process a little bit more. The third tip is expect issues. Uh, I feel like, you know, we shouldn't have to say this, but a lot of the community really gets frustrated with issues. And I'm not here to be your, you know, BSG fanboy or your Reddit keyboard warrior. I'm in the middle. I'm just playing the game that we have. And the game that we have has issues and will continue to have issues all the way through the launch of the game, who knows when that's going to be, and probably beyond. It is a core experience in Escape from Tarkov to have issues, whether it be audio issues or desync or getting kicked out of the game. It doesn't mean that you should enjoy those issues. It doesn't mean that those issues are even excusable from a development standpoint. But the fact of the matter is that we can provide bug reports, we can provide feedback to the developers. But if you want to play Escape from Tarkov, you kind of have to expect that and you have to learn to just roll with those punches. If not, if you just fundamentally cannot accept the issues and bugs that are in the game, then maybe Escape from Tarkov is just not for you. But you have to learn to expect those things and know that the type of game you're playing, Escape from Tarkov, means that when those bugs come, when those issues come, they're going to be pretty punishing. You just got to learn to brush it off and move on. It's definitely going to help you enjoy the game a little bit more. The fourth tip is expect delays. This is something that I've learned a ton over my few years is that when BSG says they're going to try to do something, try to do a map, they're going to try and do a wipe or try to do anything, 
uh, delays can happen. Once again, I don't know how to develop games. I'm not your BSG fanboy. I'm not the Reddit keyboard warrior. I'm just saying that the game we have, Escape from Tarkov, often gets delays. Patches get delayed. Wipes get delayed. New maps, features. I mean, they've been talking about Streets of Tarkov since before I even started playing the game. So it's just how it is. Once again, a lot of these come back to fundamentally, you can't play Escape from Tarkov for what it's going to be when it releases. You have to play Escape from Tarkov for what it is now and learn to enjoy that experience. Uh, so expect delays. That's going to happen. Um, and just, you know, learn to love the game that we've got now. And that helps you enjoy this process and have a lot more fun. Now, the fifth and final tip, the doozy, the big one. If you've gone through all this stuff, if you've made it this far in the video and you still think like that, you just absolutely cannot have fun or cannot accept these things. The last tip is play other games. Yep, that's the tip. In Escape from Tarkov, the best way to have fun, if you just can't accept these things, is play other games. I'm going to reiterate what I said. This is something that Markstrom said in his video where he was talking about stuff, is that if you are only playing Escape from Tarkov for what it will become, then you're just going to constantly be let down by the current experience. You have to learn to play Escape from Tarkov for what it is today. And if you cannot accept the delays, if you cannot accept the issues, but you're really excited about this game that you bought into, then maybe putting it down and just playing other games, either for a few weeks, a few months, or a few years, and coming back to an experience that uh, is more complete and an experience that Battlestate Games wants to create. There's a lot of tension right now around... We're playing a lot of stuff that's very placeholder. And then we build our opinions around these placeholder things and say, no, don't change this thing because we really like this thing. And Battlestate Games is going, well, that was a placeholder thing. We always intended to change that. And there's a, a rift where BSG wants to take the game one direction. And a lot of the players really want it to go maybe a different direction. So, so if you want to kind of avoid that struggle and avoid that resistance, then put the game down, go play some other games. It's totally okay. You can still be excited for Escape from Tarkov and excited for the project um, and just put it down and wait for it to be a little bit more feature complete or maybe a little bit more bug free. So those are my tips on how to have more fun playing Escape from Tarkov. It's got nothing to do with gameplay, really. It's about expectations. I'll let, I say that all the time and it's what I really believe. You have to set the right expectations going into playing the game. This is a game that I love that I've poured thousands of hours into and that I'm really excited for. But I even I am constantly managing what I expect out of the game and can really enjoy it in its current state. With all the issues, I can have so much fun playing the game. And if you just can't, then maybe putting it down for a season is the right thing to do. So I hope this helps. I hope that Maybe it just added a little bit of perspective so that you can hop in and start having more fun playing Escape from Tarkov. Thank you so much, as always, for taking the time to check out this video. Like we said before, if you like the video, drop a like, comment down below, uh, subscribe to the channel. All that stuff really, really helps me out a ton. Like we also said before, I stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch a few days a week, and I would love to have you stop by and say hey. And if you're looking for people to play with, our Discord community is an awesome place to be. We've got a few thousand people, and there are always people willing to link up and help people with quests and answer questions and stuff like that. That link is down below as well. Thank you again for stopping by and I will definitely see y'all on the next one.